Hello everyone and today we will speak again about Rhino but just a bit just a bit now I will show you the one thing how you can uh, export from the Rhino to the Revit uh, some model without any problem without any um, specific plugins of course this is uh, we will use the uh, some add-ins but it's free and it's working quite well anyway uh, when you will um, export your model from the Rhino to the Revit, uh, Revit will understand like uh, this is original model from Revit. So it means if you are using the panels, you able to change these panels on Revit. So it's a really nice thing and I will show you how it's work now and what this plugin can do. And now I already did some uh, shapes to show you how it's work in Revit. Anyway, uh, we will go now to the uh, grasshopper and I will introduce you fast what this um, extension can do. Uh, okay, now we are into the uh, grasshopper and as you see here we have the G Revit. Let's go to the G Revit and now you can see we have the uh, similar icons like in Revit like doors, uh, windows or some components uh, everything what you want even just adaptive points uh, so we can do anything with uh, Revit and uh, Rhino to cooperative uh, like uh, how to say it uh, working like uh, one program so uh, I think it's enough of talking and I will show you now what it can do and what gonna do now so uh, first thing we should open the Rhino done and now we need open the Revit uh, actually done let's go and create the family uh, now I'll create just a generic model adaptive let's open up now we need to load uh, inside the families uh, let's say I need to the this, uh, this family this is just simple family, the, um, just only frame, that's it, and three adaptive point, like this. And I need the second, uh, second one, this one. Same family, but uh, four adaptive points. Also, this as simple as well. I don't know why he said override, because I opened new document. Anyway, so two panels here. So just we will delete them. No worries, inside the project we still have this one. As you see, we have some special names of um, uh, our our panels. If you go back to the Rhino, I already wrote uh, to Rhino, like, use these panels. And for the other thing, use this panel. Done. Uh, so, let's start. Now, for example, I want to use uh, this uh, shape just right click and uh, use multiply surface this surface enter few seconds he will divide now this is by panels done now we're going back to the Revit and here G Revit just click on the G Revit wait it go back to the uh, Rhino and click on the bottom back to Revit and just wait and done. As you see, we get our shape with these uh, panels. And what the nice, uh, most of the nice thing, if I will uh, click on the panel, as you see, this is real panel. We can change to the other one. Or, for example, let's say uh, we want put here the glass. Let's go inside to the. Uh, inside the to, uh, to this family uh, like this I need to create the glass now I'll change to the shaded view this one material glass this one replace now we have here glass let's let's back to load it to the our family uh, do you want no I don't wanna override override one two three four 
Ta-da! We get our panels with uh, glass now. It's really awesome. Now you can see better. So, and as you understand, we can create, we able to create any form from Rhino and transfer it here. Uh, let's um, first I wanna okay. Uh, let's say we will delete it now. Filter, and as you see, only gen gen generic models. Uh, I want use for example other shape. Just right click, multiply uh, surface. This surface, enter. Wait for it. Uh, let's make some changes here. Yes, we will do some few changes here. Uh, I need to restore the window. And yeah, I will change this is here, this is here. And the second one, done. Okay, it's, it will look like that one. Uh, and again, same thing. We're going to do Revit, uh, add-ins, G Revit, again back to the Rhino, and just click on the bottom. And let's go to the Revit. Uh huh, here we are. As you see, we get our shape. So, as you guys already understand, we can use the power of. Uh, from two programs, from Revit and Rhino, and uh, combine it together. It's a really nice thing. And I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to put some thumbs up. I'm working for you and trying to get for you some new ideas, new uh, advantages with Revit, with Rhino, and maybe with other programs. Thank you guys. See you.